I'm going to do example number four from textbook. And this question, it says that in triangle ABC, AD, the bisector of angle A, right? AD being the bisector, this is AD, which bisects angle A. That means we have these two angles as equal. I can write this angle one is equal to angle two. That's what given. And then we, it also says that this AD is perpendicular. That means this length, this AD is perpendicular to BC. That means we have these two angles as 90 degree each. These two angles is 90 degree. Now, what we need to show is AB is equal to AC. These two length, AB and AC, we have to prove them equal. And the triangle ABC is an isosceles. Well, if AB is equal to AC, the triangle will be an isosceles triangle. So you can, uh, you need uh, to write down the given part here. These two angles are equal and it is perpendicular to BC. All, all we have to prove is AB is equal to AC. So the question is very simple. We are going to consider these two triangles. That is the triangle one is ABD and the other triangle I'll take is ADC. As I can see that angle one is equal to angle two, right? And the reason is uh, that is AD bisects AD by six angle A, further we have AD as common, AD is equal to DA and that is common side. We may simply write common. Further, these two angle that is uh, ADB, angle ADB is equal to angle ADC and the reason is each 90 degree. So therefore I can say the triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ADC. And this triangles, these two triangles are congruent clearly by angle side angle, that is ASA, congruency condition. So once these two triangles are congruent, we can write the length AB is equal to AC, and uh, that is from CPCT, which is corresponding parts of congruent triangle. So it implies that whenever uh, a triangle in which two sides are equal, then it is an isosceles. Therefore, ABC is an isosceles triangle. So this is what we need to prove. A very easy question, in fact.